Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to briefly introduce you to how you can make a cool animated scene like this by importing in your different image layers from Photoshop or another editing program and arrange and animate them in Animator. I'm going to start by importing in my colorful rainbow background here first. I can just open the Explore window and drag my image file in. I'm going to zoom in the screen a bit so that my background image fills up the whole background. All the image files used in this tutorial are PNG format with transparent backgrounds. Typically the format you want when arranging a scene in layers. Next I'll bring in my semi-transparent film background here and arrange that where I want it as well. Then I'll drag in my image of the car. Remember to import every scene element as a prop so you can manipulate, resize, and animate it. I can resize my image by clicking one of the corners and dragging smaller or larger. Next, I'm just going to quickly click and drag in my image of a girl here. Although I'm using an image here, you can also import in a transparent video just as easily for an even cooler effect. I'm also going to import in another semi-transparent white splash here, which will make up my title background. I can change the opacity of this layer by using the opacity slider on the top toolbar if I want. Next, I'll drag in my title Crazy Talk Animator. Now what I'm doing here is dragging in a pink paint splash which I'll resize and put up in the corner. I want to put another one in the other corner, so what I can do is use the duplicate tool on the top toolbar to make another one, and drag it in to the other corner. Alternately I can hold the control key and drag to make another copy. Once there I want to flip it, so I'll do that as well by using the flip tool in the top toolbar. Another thing I want to do is group the title with its white splash background so I can move them together easily. If I select them both in the scene manager at the bottom right, then I can use the group tool on the top toolbar to do that. Now you can see that I can move, resize, and manipulate the two items together. You'll also notice that the two items are replaced by another, called merge prop in my scene manager, indicating the single command item for the two props. Here I've arranged all my items as I would like them on the screen. You'll notice that when I pan back and forth there's a cool looking 3D effect. This is because I have my different items arranged at different levels on the Z-plane. Let's take a look at my scene in 3D view now. If I rotate around my scene here, you can see that all the items are at different depths. Using the little gizmo tool with the arrows there, I can move my props in any direction I choose. Back in regular stage mode, I can do this as well by using the Z-depth arrow at the bottom of my selection box. I'll move my girl character forward here. When I do, you can see that there is a stronger 3D effect on her when she's closer to the screen. And that's a basic intro to how to arrange a 3D scene using layers in Animator. For more on how to animate it, check out our tutorial on making a scene montage.